Hey guys, welcome back in the shop. Um, I'm going to help my dad move. He's moving house. Uh, actually, he's coming in off the high seas after two years and he's coming back to land and we're moving all of his crap into his new place. <laughs> Got a drill, a couple of screwdrivers, and um, some uh, driver bits. With this move with my dad, um, we've got an old desk that we are going to dismantle, I think, and uh, either um, put it on the roof and bring it home or dispose of it somewhere, uh, probably at the storage facility, and that's why I'm bringing the saw, because we might just hack it down into bits and, and chuck it. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Have you done this before? I've done everything before. <laughs> <laughs> So I've got the drawer fronts off the desk, that's the left, that's the right, these are the ones that I just hacked off with the skill saw. And um, what I'm going to do now is uh, tidy up these edges here and make it so that the left one can be stacked on top of the right one and make it into kind of a drawer cabinet thing like, a, like an office uh, stack of drawers. And the right side has edge banding on it, and on this one, because it comes from the left side of the desk, uh, the left side has edge banding, so I'll flip it to get the edge, edge banding on on the right, and then I'll stack it, and then they'll have edge banding, edge banding, and that will be visible, even though that'll be right at the back, and it won't really be visible anyway. Made of MDF, medium dusty board. biting in man. I can feel that bite in. That gap needs to be closed so I'm going to take those screws out. I don't want that gap. Who wants a gap? Lay down, Sally. Oh, jeez. 
set TV as well. Oh man, look at that. No gaps. Whew. We didn't want gaps. Well, you got gaps there, but probably nothing I can do about that apart from rebuild the whole thing. So I've got the main base of the drawers done and now I'm just going to use the legs of the desk to make a plinth kind of thing for the bottom of the carcass. He's a cute guy. So we're in the home run on this one now. I went down to Bunnings and picked up this panel. Um, it only costs something like 30 bucks or so. It's pretty nice. It's 18 mil thick and it's uh, made of some pine or something. It's quite nice. Um, so I'm just going to cut this down to length and uh, take that over. I'm going to build a couple of legs for one side and the other side will be supported by the drawer cabinet and it's just going to become a little work surface or a little storage kind of cubby thing. This is my original measurements for the alcove for the, the board that I'm about to cut. Uh, I went over there and I measured 600 and uh, I then measured the corners to corner to corner. So I measured 600 here and then I measured corner to corner and made sure that the measurements were the same. And my mind uh, just told me, oh yeah, it's square, it's square. So I wrote down 600 by 600, because square. And then, when I went to cut it, I thought, well, that's a bit strange. So I, uh, I went around to the place again, and um, it's lucky I did, because <laughs> it's not 600 by 600, it's 600 this way. Um, and then it's 600 deep, so it's 670 deep. So really lucky that I uh, kind of had a hunch that I might be wrong there and I went and checked. It's bang on 600. So uh, I'm going to cut it down to 595 and just give it a little bit of uh, wiggle room. Just in case it's not completely uh, flush along there. Six hundred and seventy is right on the maximum size of cut I can do on this saw.
Oh, I love it, man. Better than sanding. Maybe that one. Alright. Yeah, just pull it on your leg. Yeah. Okay. Is that the right one to do? Probably. I think they must be the same. They fit. Almost, almost need numbers on them or something. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> now it fits. underneath the, uh, the couch. Oh, yeah. Well, what are you going to put on here? I'm not sure yet. What do you reckon? A pen and a, <laughs> and a key. Yeah, well, <laughs> just, uh, oh, yes. Oh, that was all worth it, eh? How's the... Uh, got, a, got a place for the pen and the key now. How's the weight factor? Oh, yes, I think it'll probably hold it. Might have to get a lighter key. Mm-hmm. <laughs>